Hello and a very good evening. This is Rishad De Cruz and welcome to my real estate vlog. For the new people watching this, please like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference. Um, pretty much everything that I do uh, online is for free. All the information, you don't have to pay a penny. I do this because um, I've been very fortunate and very lucky to have had the right people guide me. And I think that there's a lot of people uh, outside Goa, the rest of India, particularly Hyderabad, uh, Bombay, Bangalore, Delhi, who want to uh, invest in Goa, who want to live in Goa, who want to build lovely homes in Goa, contribute to the to the you know to the area, not just architecturally but also through their experiences and come and make it a better space. And um, they're lost because they don't know where to go. They don't know how to start and uh, many of them have made some huge mistakes and lost a lot of money in the last 25 years so i'm here to help you uh, to guide you and hopefully save you some money so today's uh, video is about the real estate in mar market in goa post covid um, what are the hot locations where to buy where to avoid buying first of all during COVID, the Goa real estate market didn't take a hit, especially residential. It was stable. In fact, the land prices shot up. Isn't that interesting? People wanted to move away from the metros and come and uh, settle in Goa. Why? Because Goa is, I mean, of course, you must have, you guys must have come to the beach areas, which is crowded. But as you move further into the villages, into the countryside, there's so much more space, you know, so it's, it's cleaner, it's greener. The people are nicer, happier. So it's a better quality of life. And all the intelligent Indians have decided that, listen, we need a house in Goa. Now, uh, so what, there was an increase in residential land and residential villas. What happened to the apartments? The apartments were stable and some fell. Builders were stuck with so much of inventory because uh, you have to think of Goa as a bit of like, like a, uh, you know, like a donut in the center, wherever all the action happens, people have flooded it with money. And then these are empty apartments. Some have bought it thinking that there'll be a great investment. You have many builders who promise you great things. They'll tell you, oh, you know, your apartment will be worth 50% more or 100% more. And they give you these examples of people who become millionaires. It doesn't work like that in Goa. The rental market is quite sad off season. So you have many people who've bought apartments and who are stuck. Okay, so let's, let me say it this way. Suppose someone has spent a crore on an apartment. What is the real cost of that apartment? You spend one crore on the apartment, you spend 10% on the taxes and brokerage. So that's 1.10 crores. That 1.10 crores that he spent, if he had to put it in a bank, he'd get roughly about 10 lakhs uh, a year. Now, over three years, that's roughly about 30 lakhs. That's almost 30% of the value of the property. He's not going to recover that money because the same builder is going to sell an apartment in his next complex for 1.2 crores. So where it doesn't make sense for you to buy an apartment at that price. So coming back to my point, what are the hot locations to buy, what to buy, what to avoid? Okay, so you avoid apartments for the moment. Until I tell you, my suggestion is just avoid apartments. Look only at land and look at uh, villas. Um, so now land and villas, are, will, your budget has to increase. Land roughly, it's about 12 to 15,000 in the locations that I suggest. Okay, villas under, under construction already, villas are roughly about three to five crores, like the decent, decent kind of villas. Okay, which areas to Let's start with apartments, which areas to look at, which areas to avoid. I told you apartments generally avoid, okay? Uh, but if, you, if you're really keen on an apartment, um, go in for a second sale apartment. Okay, so something that someone is selling because either it's a distressed sale or they're not really interested in Goa anymore, they've moved abroad, emigrated, whatever. Kadamba Plateau, you have some lovely, beautiful apartments I've seen, but um, many of them second sale so 
I've seen something that's about 200, 300 square meter apartment for one and a half, two crores, right? Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful view of the backwaters of the Dibar, Shora Island. And that is something that's worth the money. Um, Donna Paula. Donna Paula can be interesting because it's on top. It's, it's, it's on top of the hill. You've got the view of the, of the ocean and then you, you come down and then you enter into Panjum City. Now, Donna Paula has some older apartments that were quite nice and that the owners may want to dispose of. So you may get great value. That you have new bills that are coming out with two, three hundred apartments. Those are hideous. Those have been on the market for ages. Some of them are ready. Some of them are under construction. Do not buy. You can ask me. I can put you onto brokers who will help you um, look at second sales or good new developers that are low rise, low density, right? Um, where you should completely avoid Mapsa, Central Panjim, uh, avoid Baga. Kalangut, Kangalim, nobody wants to be in that area anymore. The sewage, there's a sewage problem, drainage problem. You get all the wrong kind of people coming in there. Uh, you have all these dabas and it's just, it's just a mess. It's like a big giant market and you don't want to be there if you have any, you know, appreciation for a decent life. You don't want to be there. Okay. You might get nice apartments in a place called Siolim. I've seen some beautiful apartment complexes, 50 to 100 flats, really nice swimming pool. You get good, uh, you get a mix of, um, you know, tourists, some foreigners, mainly Russians who are working um, and who, or who are living here, you know, during the winter. You also have uh, good Indian artists, musicians, designers living there because it's, you know, it's uh, Sholing is close to uh, Morjim. So you can drive there. It also has its nice little inroads and it's quite idyllic. It's quite a nice place to live actually and to have an apartment or a villa. Um, right, where do you buy villas? Asagam is a nice place, but now the pricing has gone through the roof. I suggest Moira, Nashnola, Aldona. Great places to buy villas. Um, Anjuna good again it'll be quite expensive para nice because it's on the cusp of you know uh, asagao so you don't get that asagao prices but you still get the value for money there is capital appreciation there siolim again i told you about apartments so siolim is a nice place morjim if you can find nothing like it but for some reason you know morjim i don't recommend and i'm very uh, skeptical because first of all morjim was a lot of the land was agricultural orchard or forest so someone has done some jewel somewhere some some local you know uh, government official and they've converted it with the builder and they've done uh, they've built these apartments or villas now i have not seen anything apart from a few really high-end signature villas in Morjim, that's nice. They're, most of them are quite hideous box style with LED lights and all that kind of uh, stuff, which is not exciting. Um, Siolim has some nice projects. Um, Pilan has some nice projects. So again, I'm going to uh, recap. Villas, Asagaon, Moira, Nashnala, Aldona, Anjuna, Parra, Siolim, Morjim, uh, Pilan. Nice places. Avoid Kalangut Baga and Arpora. Just avoid. For the same reasons as you should avoid the apartments there okay land land is exciting and interesting and this is for those of you who like to build and add value now if you are like me and you enjoy good architecture first of all um, my suggestion is hire a Goan architect because they know the lay of the land and we have some very good architects in Goa I can put you across to them you hire an architect from your city and you bring him here He's going to not have the time to do your site visits, right? You'll hire a structural engineer over there. He'll have to come here. So think about the Goans. Think about giving us also some employment, um, you know, and at least if it's a Goan architect, he might engage a, a local um, contractor. So then people in the village also get work, right? So there's no animosity against you. 
that you've come, you've you've built your home and you built high walls and that you've boxed everybody out. No, spread the love, spread the wealth. Land, where do you buy? Again, Asagao, but Asagao is in deep trouble because whatever the land is there has already been bought. Most of the land has been bought by Delhiites. Whatever's remaining has some title issues. I've seen scores of properties over there and they've always been riddled with some title issues um, and the chances are that you will not be able to find out that they have title issues but if it's too good to be true then it's definitely too good to be true okay there's something wrong with it um, we provide a due diligence service so you can come to us and um, i will be happy to look at them for you for a fee um, so yes asagaon difficult moira aldona nationala very good location because we've got an international school we've got the backwaters a lot of writers and artists have moved there now this is something for someone who is i'd say a well healed someone who has that aesthetic sense someone who really cares about goa who wants to add value by by building something really beautiful really iconic right who who wants a capital appreciation as well so you buy a nice plot of land and you build something beautiful you buy a thousand two thousand three thousand square meters build one house at least you are preventing the builders from coming in and putting 100 apartments 200 apartments in this way also you're saving goa you're keeping it green so if you have a thousand square meter property with a three four hundred square meter house you have 700 square meters of green where you plant fruit trees and this is what uh, my mother uh, and lots of other old Goan uh, Jain tree used to do. They used to uh, make sure that their gardens were full of fruit bearing trees. Okay, so chiku, mango, papaya, coconut, uh, bananas. Right? These are, you don't have to spend too much money to even maintain it. You just need one mali to water it. And we have, we are blessed with a great monsoon. So yeah, buy land, build a beautiful house, engage a Goan architect, and um, you know, your life will be much better. Moira National Aldana. Prices in uh, Moira National Aldana, 12 to 15,000. Don't get um, spooked by these brokers who tell you it's 18, 20,000. It's not. Uh, my suggestion, if the broker says 18, 20,000, you say, yeah, 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 no problem. Take the papers. If you're serious about the property, don't just take papers and waste the broker's time. Take the papers. Look at the property, do your vastu, do whatever you have to do and then you can contact me. I will get my team to look at it for a fee. I'm saying for a fee, not for free because many people um, expect you to do things for free. Now this information that I'm giving you is for free but when we do work, I'm engaging other people, I'm engaging good lawyers. So they have to be paid, right? Um, so we'll look at it and we'll get back to you on uh, whether the titles are fine and then make sure that you ask the broker to connect you with the owner of the property. If the broker is uh, has signed an MOU with the owner, fine, no issues, you discuss with the broker and the owner the price, sit them across the table, broker will probably make about 30% more on the property because he must have paid and got that guy to sign okay so land i told you uh, asagao asagao is expensive now people are asking 30 40 000. i don't think it's worth it there's hardly going to be any appreciation um, there can't go more than that um but if you get great moira national Azana, massive appreciation if you buy at fifteen thousand today i'll tell you within three years the land will be about 25,000 okay 25 to 30,000 um, Para, Siolim very good area if you can get again there nothing like it 18, 20,000 that's the price may go up to 22,000 even at 22,000 if you're getting like a thousand 2,000 square meters go ahead and buy it okay um, nice if you can get in Morjim but you have to make sure it's settlement if it is orchard we can we can get it converted for you we know if you know that I mean we have the right people on board so we can do it legally um, 
Ashway Arampal, again, lovely areas, but very far away, you know. So I'm not sure if you want to be so far away, but hopefully with the new airport, things can work out um, in your favor. Where to avoid buying land? Again, Baga, Kalangut, Kandalim. Avoid it like a plague. I don't like that area. I used to grow, I used to go there as a kid. Great fun, beautiful beaches, lovely, quiet, pristine. Now it's a mess. It's, it's like going to Dharavi in Bombay. It's a slum. Horrible. So I don't like that area. Move to the countryside, move to the villages. You'll be much happier. You can build a beautiful house and uh, it'll be it's a great investment value. Okay, so I've covered um, I've covered where to buy, where not to buy. I've told you that residential land is the best investment currently in Goa. I've told you apartments are something that you should hold for the moment unless you get a good deal um, for used apartments or a second sale apartments, which you can write to me or I can share broker's numbers with you. Um, ready Villas, you have some really good developers that have come in and that are building Ready Villas. Don't get tricked in by some developers who tell you that their villas will appreciate, etc. etc. So you can always ask me on ask me for, for my advice on those things. Um, uh, average cost of land. Average cost of land uh, in the upcoming areas like Moira National Hardana is again about 15,000. Para um, 18,000. Um, you you can look at Pilan, you can look at uh, Salvador de Mund. Nice areas, uh, equidistant from the capital city. So, you know, you can even go to, uh, from there, you, it's 15, 20 minute drive to Asagao. It's a 15, 20 minute drive to Mapsa. If you want to do your vegetable shopping, you can drive to Panjim, you can drive to the beaches. So it's quite nice. So I think I've covered almost everything. Um, again, my suggestion to you guys is buy a decent plot of land build a small home when i say small it could be three to five hundred square meters and plant a lot of trees make it more green goa is beautiful because it's green i don't think goan beaches are that great i think the goan countryside is any day better we have a lovely uh, inland waterway our rivers are fabulous we have fish we have fresh vegetables life is really good in the villages some of the most wealthy some of the most successful people of, from all over india have moved into the villages most of you guys think that uh, the goa is about parties and nightlife and all that it's not you know we go and we don't go to the beach we hardly if we party we'll party uh, for christmas and maybe for easter <clears throat> diwali we have some celebrations but um, really goa is in the villages in the countryside so buy a plot of land build a beautiful house um, contribute to the goan economy by engaging goan craftsmen artisans architects uh, and staff i think uh, that's all for now i hope this video was informative i hope it helped you uh, do like and subscribe you can always reach out to me rishaddecruz at gmail.com is my um, is my email id and i'll get back to you uh, very quickly. Take care. Have a wonderful Christmas. Goodbye.